Daisy Ridley was only 22 years old when she filmed her first Star Wars movie, and while she's returning to play Rey Skywalker in a new trilogy of movies, there are other, non-Star Wars movies on her slate that are far more exciting. However, after the Star Wars sequel trilogy wrapped, Ridley stepped back a bit from the spotlight. Since then, though, Daisy Ridley has starred in several well-received movies, such as Sometimes I Think About Dying and Young Woman and the Sea. Furthermore, Ridley will reprise her role as Rey in the upcoming Star Wars, New Jedi Order film, which is set years after the events of the sequel trilogy. Starring in another Star Wars film will give Lucasfilm and Ridley another shot at telling an intriguing story with Rey, especially after the Rise of Skywalker's ending was such a disappointment to many fans. However, as part of her post-Star Wars comeback, Ridley is also starring in three other films that are actually more exciting than her Star Wars return. Daisy Ridley's We Bury the Dead, Cleaner and Dedication all sound more exciting than her new Star Wars movie. Daisy Ridley will star in several action-packed movies. Ridley's upcoming movie We Bury the Dead premiered in November 2024 at the Adelaide Film Festival. In the upcoming horror movie, Ridley's character joins a body retrieval unit after a failed military experiment in an attempt to find her husband. However, the film takes a turn when it's revealed that some of the bodies are still showing signs of life. Ridley has rarely appeared in horror movies throughout her career, so We Bury the Dead will be an interesting turn for her. Additionally, Ridley will star in two of director Martin Campbell's action movies, Dedication and Cleaner. Cleaner, which has already been filmed, is about a group of activists who interrupt an energy company's annual gala by taking hostages. After their first collaboration, Ridley was also cast as the lead in the upcoming movie Dedication. In dedication, Ridley will play Major Billy Jean Parker, a Marine commander dismissed from the military after a mission resulted in civilian casualties. However, the anarchist group she was fighting in the Philippines follow her home and end up attacking a school. Daisy Ridley's upcoming movies can prove she no longer needs Star Wars. Daisy Ridley plays the leading role in all three films. While joining a franchise as large as Star Wars is life-changing for an actor, it can also be risky for their career. Several actors have left the Star Wars franchise and have not been able to find their place in Hollywood. Hayden Christensen, who played Anakin Skywalker in the prequel trilogy, is a prime example of this. For some actors who appear in huge franchises, it's that directors fear they are too much associated with their big role and end up being typecast. For others, who appeared in expensive movies that didn't do well, studios cool on the actor for a while. However, that's clearly not the case for Ridley however, that's clearly not the case for Daisy Ridley, who remained dedicated and proved that she is an exceptional actor. Therefore, her roles in these three upcoming movies further prove that she can have a career in Hollywood outside the Star Wars franchise. Furthermore, the fact that all three of these roles are leading roles demonstrates that Ridley has the experience and ability to be the main star of a movie. While seeing her return as Rey will be exciting, these upcoming movies make it clear that Daisy Ridley no longer needs Star Wars.